Hello, I'm Dick. And I'm Eric, and we're the Annuity Guys. Dick, today we're looking at, you know, can actually owning an annuity enhance your stock market performance? <laughs> little well, and, there, and, huh? and I think that some folks might jump over and, and think that we're talking about variable annuities, but right. I, think, I, I think we want to clarify that we're talking about can a safe fixed annuity hybrid style or, or whatever, you know, but a, but a safer, you know, type annuity that's not invested in the market help enhance your stock market investing. Yeah. And, and this came about because of, you know, one of our viewers that regularly watches our videos uh, that, that actually has found this uh, to to really be a, a big plus suggested that we talk a little more about it. Yeah, so we give a, a shout out to Alan. And, and one of the things I think Alan's found is that he gradually has been able to become more and more aggressive yes. with his equity holdings because of knowing that you have these safe positions that the uh, the annuities take care of. The annuities are are set to get that consistent growth, but what I think it really helps is <laughs> because the volatility of the market really is what right. make people uneasy. Yes. Yes. When, when it's going up and down and yes. up and down, and you're seeing it on a daily basis, yes. that makes people uncomfortable. Now. That doesn't bother you so much when you have a one piece that's just basically it's set here, and then you know at the end of the year it's right. going to be set here. Right. The worst case scenario is it well, stays. Well, the same. and that one piece that we're talking about yeah. is diversifying uh, the portion of your portfolio that needs to be protected. Right. The the part that really supplies the income or the stable portion uh, of your your growth. Right. Uh, you know, uh, so that that you've got an allocation that is not going to go down. And and for many folks this this is really more of a, almost a sleep assurance. You know, they can yeah. sleep well at night knowing that a portion of their portfolio can fluctuate all at once, you know, up and down because they understand that that's the way the market works. Right. But they have another portion of their portfolio that uh, has a lot of the characteristics of bonds, right. of a bond portfolio, but it has many other levels of uh, risk uh, protection that uh, bonds don't offer. Right. When, when we talk about the hybrid style of annuities, mm -hmm. and, and really what it is, when we're talking about here is, mm -hmm. it's a fixed or a fixed indexed annuity right. with the income rider added on. Now, yes. you could or you may or may not need the income rider portion. Mm -hmm. uh, more and more we're seeing a lot of folks utilize that fixed, fixed indexed portion so that they know they're getting some of the upside of the market. They're, right. they're getting a, a right. I'll call it conservative three to yep. five percent potential. Yep. You know, and there's some nice ones out mm -hmm. there that allow you to get basically fifty percent of the of the S and P five hundred. You know, and when you consider that you're not having any down years, right. You know, you, <laughs> and you're getting half, you know, of, of all the good years. Yeah. Yeah. That starts to to average out pretty good. Yeah, I sound like a good divorce lawyer. <laughs> How's half sound? You know, it's all you get is half. You're going to get half, but really, what you're avoiding there is any kind of downside risk. You know, yeah. And so, yes, you're giving up some of the top side. But you're giving up all the bottom side, right? And I think that's right. where people really start to feel comfortable if they know they have that in their portfolio, mm -hmm. that allocation. Yes, and it is. It's just another allocation diversification, right? Then they can take a little bit more risk with the other portions of their portfolio, Correct. letting that get that full hundred, yes, hundred and twenty percent. If you want to, mm -hmm. you know, be a little hedging and, and sure, and sure, put it out there. Well, and, and the, the challenge that that everyone knows when you're going into retirement. Uh, you've only got a limited amount or number of years ahead of you, and stock markets don't always fit your time schedule. No. So <laughs> you've yeah. got to be able to let it ride. Yeah. It could be, uh, you know, a worst case scenario, maybe 20, 25 years if the market takes, you know, a serious, you know, downturn, uh, kind of like what we saw, you know, in the Depression, that type of thing. And there's been other time periods that have been, you know, very long bear markets, you know. So if you get caught in one of those, you know, retirees know this could be very detrimental. Right. And, and when I first got in the business, one of the things I used to talk about, you know, there's all these rules of thumb. You know, it mm -hmm. used to be you take, you know, 100% or 100 and you subtract your age, and that was the portion that should be in bonds or, you know, there are Right, bonds. right. Well, or safe money. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now it's not just bonds, it's what other allocations. Yeah. And, and this is one of the allocations I would say consider annuities mm -hmm. for, you know, mm -hmm. a, a safe, low risk proposition where you're, you're going to get right, some growth, right. but you know, you're, you're not going to have significant losses. Exactly, because with annuities, you've got two things going for you. You've got the ability to guarantee income, mm -hmm. and you've got the ability to limit downside when it comes to growth of your money. So 
um, we, we've always said, you know, you don't want to put too much or, you know, any more than necessary into annuities unless you're really risk averse and you just don't want anything to do with the market. I mean, you know, we do talk to people regularly, Eric, that basically say, look, I'm looking for whether it's a bank or an annuity or something of that nature. Um, I don't mind diversifying in areas where I know my money can be safe and never go backwards, but that's what I want and, right. and that's okay. But a lot of folks feel quite the opposite. They're kind of like, you know, I know that my money would do better in the market, potentially, in the long run. I just can't afford to go backwards, you know, right. and, and, and destroy my own retirement. Right. But the key thing, I think, with, with having that ability also to mm -hmm. have those stocks out there mm -hmm. is also a hedge against inflation. You know? Right. What better opportunity yes. to hedge against, you know, in, you know, right now we know we're in a low rate environment, mm -hmm. but, you know, there's a potential for a hyperinflation in the future. Right, right. Well, allowing that stock market gain, get some of that true 100% gains, mm -hmm. yeah, it gives you a, a better hedge mm -hmm. in oh, the annuity side, <laughs> allows you to sleep at night and know that you're not going to at least go backwards. I agree. And, and you had said, you know, something there about the liquidity. And, and just to uh, clarify that a little bit, yeah. Um, annuities give uh, a certain level right. of liquidity. Keeping a, a certain amount of money in the market gives you liquidity. And uh, laddering annuities gives you another layer right. of liquidity. Exactly. So, so we always like to look at that big picture. And we always recommend that folks keep some money for those emergencies, you know, okay. uh, keep a, right. even though it's probably not going to be earning what you'd like, <laughs> you know, in the bank or a money market, right. you need 50000 a 100000 uh, depending on your lifestyle, right. uh, money that's just sitting there in reserve, so you don't have to get into the market when the market, right. the market money when yeah. it's down, yeah. Yeah. or or the annuity money when you know it's it's serving a certain purpose that you need it to serve, right. and you really don't want to tap it. So um, I, I do think that if folks balance their portfolio right, that annuities can enhance their stock uh, investing.